What is up, guys? We are live. I'm so pumped up for this one, guys. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you the 36 ways to find wholesaling deals the easy way. Oh, yeah. We're talking about the easy way today. And really what it means to be a real estate wholesaler. I'm pretty excited about this one. And this is one where, hey, you're going to come over here. You're going to give me an excuse of why you're not successful in wholesaling real estate. And the truth is your success in this business comes down to your mindset, your work ethic, and your discipline. So in today's video, we're really going to break down exactly what you need to start be doing in your wholesaling business for massive success. So uh, let's see where everyone's coming in from today. And I truly want to see what I can do to help you guys out become better wholesalers. Uh, so let's break it down. So I'm just, I'm, I'm going to break it down. So really quickly, guys, I, I I have to give a shout out to the people who are always on the live here, uh, like hours before sharing their uh, thoughts, comments, but uh, G folks like, and subscribe because Kenny knows that's exactly what I'm going to ask you guys like this video and subscribe. And we already know uh, that's what you got to do. So guys smash that like button and subscribe. And I really want to break it down exactly the 36 ways to find easy wholesaling real estate deals. And I'm not going to be showing you lists because that's cheating. That's actually a very easy one, but 36 different marketing strategies and ways to find wholesaling real estate deals. So this is a fun one, guys. So uh, smash that like button and subscribe and let's get it going. So let's pump it up. Let's pump it up. Let's pump it up. Oh man, I, I'm. this is an exciting one, guys. So let's break it out. Without further ado, let's break this down, guys. And remember, always ask your questions. I'm always here to help you out. Uh, so let's break it down. So 36 ways to find motivated seller leads, wholesaling deals, and just how to become the best wholesaler possible. We're going to break it down right now. So let's get it going. So number one, drawing for dollars. So let's talk about drawing for dollars really quick. Drawing for dollars, in my opinion, is one of the number one ways for real estate wholesaling deals and actually how to find deals in your real estate business. So I truly believe that in wholesaling real estate, drawing for dollars is amazing. It's one of the best ones out there. And it's truly one of the differences between people who do really well in this business and who don't is the ones who will go out there and do the marketing channels that don't work. And doing the ones that don't work versus the ones that do work, there's the difference. So you could be the person that says, drawing for dollars sucks. It doesn't work in my market. It's, it's not that good. Well, in reality, it's an amazing marketing strategy and most people don't utilize it or use it because they don't understand it. So trying for dollars is the number one one. Go in your car, look for properties that are beat down, distressed, need work. These are the ones that I would start 100% recommending for your business and for you to have success in real estate wholesaling. So number two here is let's bring it down. Uh, and also guys, comment below what questions you have. I'm always here to help you guys out and uh, just to generally help you guys out with anything. So trying for dollars, get in your car, go out there, look for distressed properties, write them down. If you have listrei.com, which is PropStream, that is probably my favorite service to use. Uh, that's the one that I personally use for my drawing for dollars people on the apps. So keep in control, keep uh, in front of everyone and get it going. So number two here is cold calling. Cold calling, guys. You guys see me cold call like literally all the time. I, I cold call religiously on this channel to show you how easy and simple this business can be. So go out there, start cold calling. It will change your life forever. I I'm telling you, when I started cold calling, it changed the game for me. There's so many motivated sellers out there and so many deals just from cold calling. So it's a 100% one I would totally start recommending for you. Start implementing cold calling in your business and you'll have so much crazy, awesome success. Number three here is SMS text blasting. Guys, come on. SMS text blasting is one of my favorite ones out there. If you go use smszack.com, that is the link that I do. You can try 500 free text for just a dollar. It's one of the best deals out there. Literally, I, I think Batch loses money every time they do that. But hey, uh, use that to your benefit. Go out there, try text blasting. It's one of the best ones out there and I cannot recommend it enough. So try SMS text blasting. My favorite list for SMS text blasting is vacants, high equities. Like for, I would say if you're do pushing a huge volume, I think high equity is probably one of the best ones, but really vacants have been really good for SMS lately. Uh, cold calling, I, I would say is the government list, the drawing for dollars lists. Uh, so drawing for dollars is the best cold calling list, hands down probates. Code violations are pretty good guys. Look at the live yesterday. I showed you exactly how to do code violations, actually how to start pulling the stuff like crazy. It, it's a game changer guys. So those are the lists that I'd start doing for SMS text, text blasting. 
Always use SMS Zach for skip tracing or true people search if you don't have the money. Next here is door knocking. Guys, there's 36 ways to find wholesaling deals here. So I, you're not going to run out. I promise you that. But uh, 36, that's a lot, guys. That is that is a ton, a ton of ways. So at the end of this video, if you don't have, you shouldn't have any excuse for not living the life of your dreams here. So uh, door knocking is the next one. Not the most fun way to go out there and find motivated sellers. Not the most fun way to get a wholesaling deal, but hands down, I can say door knocking. You got to get dirty in this business and door knocking is one of the best ones. So I would 100% recommend door knocking right now. If you are a person that is an action taker, if you're an action taker in the real estate wholesaling business, the marketing channel of door knocking is hands down one of the best ones out. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, are, are you the owner of this property? Are you interested? Are you interested in selling it? That's as simple as it should be. Next here is reverse drawing for dollars. I, I don't think anyone really talks about it too much, but it's definitely one of my favorite strategies out there. And reverse drawing for dollars is basically the strategy of drawing for dollars, except when you find a property that's really good, what you're going to do is find a yellow sticky note. And then from that sticky note, what I want you to do is just slap it on there, have that sticky note, say something really easy and simple, like, hey, are you interested in selling your property? Or you can put something like, hey, this is Zach, please give me a call back and then just put it on there. So I prefer the latter, not the former. Uh, so that, that's my opinion. If you just put some very interesting and curious, just get a call back, you get in front of the seller. The point is to get in front of sellers. That is the point of reverse drawing for dollars is getting in front of sellers. And this is the one of the best ones out there for it. Uh, so the next one here, let's see if we got any questions on any of the ones I really said. So we got some really good questions to get to all of them and uh, answer it. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Number six here is realtors. Realtors, one of the best ways actually for no money at all to find real estate wholesaling deals. And realtors, you just got to get really good at networking, talking to realtors. Realtors have the cash buyers. Realtors actually are in front of motivated sellers on a daily basis. So it, it's probably best just get in front of them, actually have conversations with them and talking to these people. Realtors is absolutely an amazing way to find deals. So I recommend realtors 100% right now. And they have some listings. You can do some, you can do some MLS, uh, MLS wholesaling. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it, it is possible for you to do. So th that's kind of what something I would recommend right now. Next here is JVing. JVing is an interesting one, guys. I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. So joint venturing or JVing or partnering up with your deals with other wholesalers. That's it, an amazing one, but uh, just be cautious with it. I, I wouldn't be JVing your own deals. I would find other people who need help selling their deals. Use the power of Facebook to go find these cash buyers that I've shown you. Guys, I went for two hours showing you exactly how to find these cash buyers. So there's really no excuse for you out here for you to go out here and not be closing these deals. So JVing is one of my favorite ones out there. And hands down, it's an awesome way to find motivated sellers. So JVing is when you partner up with someone on a real estate wholesaling deal. And then you find the cash buyer, you partner up, you have an agreement, you'll split the profits on it. And then boom, you go to the next one and you split the profits. Next here is a Facebook page. So you can actually create a Facebook page and have people and actual motivated sellers find you if you're really good at SEO and search engine op optim blah, blah. search engine optimization. Guys, you can always tell I do this stuff live. But Facebook pages is another one. I've seen people who have got wholesaling deals from Facebook pages. So I 100% will recommend that one. Number nine here is neighbors. So this is kind of a shocking one here. Uh, I don't think a lot of people talk about this, but I think neighbors is one of the best way to, ways to find wholesaling real estate deals. What do I mean by this? You might not know this, but their neighbors to your real estate wholesaling deals might want to sell their property. If property number one is really beat up, property number two might be uh, ready for the pick in here. And they might be in close proximity. They might be like, wow, you bought that property cash. What would your offer be on this one if you could buy my property for cash? I, I think it's one of the best ways out here. It's one of the best reasons. And that's all I could really say. I, I truly believe talking to neighbors and getting to know a neighborhood of a wholesaling deal, there's potentially another deal on that street or the neighborhood. Really good way to go out there and talk to the neighbors. Uh, I've gotten probably a handful of deals from neighbors in my, in, in my career in wholesaling. Rick's probably a lot more, uh, but it's hands down one of the best ones out there. Next here is referrals. Guys, the, the best deals are ones you don't have to pay for, and those are referrals.
So what are referrals? Refer referrals are basically deals that friends of a family of a motivated seller. So you got to deal with a motivated seller to make, let's say, make like 15K on this one, 15,000. Amazing deal, right? The cool part about this is you could actually get deals from motivated sellers friends. So let's say your motivated seller sells their deal and they actually know someone who wants to sell their property cash and it's kind of beat up. Well, that person can refer you to that mo to that other friend who is going to be a motivated seller. And think about that for a second. That means you just get a deal from a fr friend of a friend. It's amazing. It, you pay zero in marketing. You make the same 15, 20K. It's one of the best ways out there to go find motivated sellers. So I can 100% recommend it right now. Going out there and getting referrals, it's one of the best ways to get wholesaling deals right now. The only way to do it is to be doing deals, but it's a really good one. Ask your motivated seller at the closing. Go out here and do deals. At, not, not go out here and do deals, but go out here and refer me a deal. It's, it's amazing, guys. Let's see here. Number 11, I'm listing all the ways for you guys, so don't, don't get me in trouble. Uh, but I do think Facebook ads is another way, marketing channel, to go out there and find motivated sellers. Is it the best one? No, I'm listing 36. But Facebook ads are out there. People do do well with Facebook ads, just personally, not me. But Facebook ads uh, could be one of the best ways for you to go out there and get wholesaling real estate deals. So am I going to recommend Facebook ads right now? Probably not for you, but it's still a really good way for you to go out there and get deals if you're really good at it and you know what you're doing. Number 12 here is TV ads. I love TV ads. I think some big players who are doing TV ads are actually doing very well in their market right now. Become a local celebrity. You can get referrals from that. Be the voice of action in your business. I can tell you right now, Facebook ads are absolutely amazing. So start doing Facebook ads. It's, it's amazing, but start doing TV ads also. So if you do Facebook ads and TV ads together, it can kind of be the celebrity in your market. Gonna have to spend a bunch of money doing it, so it might not be the best one. But TV ads are interesting. Ton of money you got to put into it, but some of them do work. Recommend putting your face in it if you want, but it's still a good one. And kind of on that same note, in the same family of marketing is radio ads. Some people live and they just preach how radio ads is the greatest thing ever. It's the best way to find motivated sellers. And I'm not too bought into radio ads being like the greatest thing ever, but I truly believe radio ads does have its place in the right markets, the right channel stations. You got to learn all this stuff. Um, I have a free little course on radio ads. If you want to go to uh, radio ads, space slip with Rick on YouTube, I break it down pretty well. I love uh, radio ads, but it, it just depends on the market. Some in our market work, some in don't. Uh, Florida is generally pretty decent with radio ads. There's a lot of older people, uh, but in other markets, probably not. So radio ads, still another one to think about, another one to consider. It's still an amazing marketing opportunity for you. Uh, 14 here is PPC, which is pay per click. You can get pretty decent at pay per click. I'm not 100% bought into it. There's been a lot of big players on like Facebook and social media just talking about how well pay per click is and how amazing it is for your business. I'm not 100% bought into it, but I still think it has its place. And it's definitely something that you should be trying right now in your business. I think pay per click is a very interesting one. Number 15 here is SEO, which is search engine optimization. Think about this. This is an interesting one. There's a lot of sites out here. I think I talked to the CEO of a very famous, uh, what is it, like SEO type company. And what they're saying here is they 100% recommend right here, right now, that you go out here and create a website, make the search engine optimization, optimization perfect. And when someone searches uh, sell property cash, Houston, Texas, you're gonna be the first website that pops up naturally without paying any money. Different for pay-per-click where you have to pay for a little ad on the top. SEO is where it's organic, cost a bunch of money, a lot of consulting you gotta do for it, but potentially it could be a very, very interesting play in the future. Uh, more people are gonna be online, bigger web presence. So SEO is an interesting one. Just remember Google, like their their engine, their search engine, like that, that algorithm changes like every week. Uh, so it, it's hard to be on top of your game on that one, but it's still potentially really, really good opportunity for you. Number 16 here is Facebook groups. I think Facebook groups is a huge opportunity for real estate wholesalers and investors in the future here. I truly would argue 
that Facebook groups could be the newest frontier of free wholesaling motivated sellers channels. I'm seeing a lot of people just talk about how well Facebook groups are doing for real estate wholesaling right now. And it could potentially be a huge play in the future. It's something I'm really looking into. It's organic. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. This is kind of the stuff that's super important in the future. So I think at number 16 here, Facebook groups could be a really interesting play. Uh, you go into Facebook groups and you just talk about your service or you try to DM people who are potentially looking to sell properties or people who need remodels on their houses or there's an issue with the house. Mostly everyone is on Facebook right now. So it's a very awesome play. 17 here. Now we're getting uh, some of the more silly ways to find uh, wholesalers, but uh, it's branded clothes. I, I, I think uh, who jumped the gun on this one? Barbara jumped the gun on this one. Shirts that say I buy houses. That is 100% what branded clothes is all about. Uh, so branded clothes is interesting one. Have a shirt that says I buy houses cash. Have a little hat that says I buy houses cash. Have a tattoo that says I buy houses cash. Whatever one it is. Uh, but it's definitely an interesting play. And it could be it could be an interesting way to get wholesaling deals. It, it, it's probably not my preference for getting a real estate wholesaling deal, but I know people out there that wear clothes. I've seen people wear clothes like that, at the mall and stuff. It's a funny one, but it's an interesting one to do. Number 18 here is, this is the Gary Vaynerchuk way. I don't think anyone in wholesaling really talks about this, but I know people that are potentially trying this and they're getting decent results. So I, I can't knock them for this, but it is Instagram comments. What do I mean by Instagram comments? Well, you can comment and just spam or comment. Now you probably only get a hundred before you get in trouble. I think at 50, 50 an hour, I think it's closer to 50 an hour you get before you get in trouble here. But at 50 an hour, that's all you really need. And what do I mean by this? So at 50 an hour, you can comment on all the posts about real estate or all the posts, probably about home improvements or just generally tagging a location. So people tagging from the city of Miami. And if I live, if it's a wholesaler in Miami, I could comment like, Hey, my name is Zach. I'm actually buying properties cash. If you're interested, please hit me up. And you can put about 15 hour, do 15 hour, do that for eight hours. That's 400. You get that goes out on Instagram 400. If you get multiple accounts on different phones or different devices, you could potentially be sending out four or 5,000 messages a day on Instagram. Be an interesting one. Now, I know wholesalers that try to get me to do stuff. That's I, like I don't do this because I don't want my Instagram getting banned or anything. But there's people that have spam bots where they'll spend like five thousand comments a day, of like, "Hey, go check out this page" or something. Guys, there's gurus out here that send me DMs from like bots that say, "Go follow and subscribe to my channel." Oh, guys, it, it doesn't work. Uh, buying followers doesn't work. Buying likes doesn't work. I saw one guy on YouTube. He posted like a suit, like a really stupid guru video. It had 50,000 views in uh, 30 minutes and it had one comment and zero likes because they're buying the the the, the views. It, it's so stupid. It, it's crazy. Um, it, it's all fake. Like I, it, it's it's crazy the amount of gurus that pay for this stuff. I, I know there's another guru wholesaling who has 100,000 uh, follower subscribers and like 90,000 followers on Instagram, 100,000 subscribers. And they get like four views for every uh, video they do. And they get one like for every Instagram. Like you're not fooling anyone by buying followers. And, and it's just funny. Yeah, I think it's hilarious. Uh, but Instagram comments is an interesting one. 19 here is word of mouth. Kind of referrals, but it's more that celebrity factor where people are just talking about you like that commercially did or social media you have. Or there's a lot of interesting ones out here. So word of mouth is probably the one that I'm talking about right now. Uh, so that's another way to go find one. Number 20 here is bench ads. Bench ads are those little ads you have the bench for a park or those ads like where the bus stops are. That's another interesting one out there. I call them bench ads, like bus ads. Potentially, it's an interesting way to go out there and find wholesaling uh, deals. Number 21 here is billboards. Billboards is another interesting play here. Uh, 20 is sponsorships. I have sponsorships is an interesting one, guys. I... I it could potentially be a very interesting one in the future, but sponsor like a soccer team, sponsoring like a 5K, sponsoring just anything potentially or event could get you wholesaling deals. Probably not the best ROI possible, but I've seen people do 
decent with other businesses doing it. So potentially could be a very, it could be a good play on it. I, I won't be the expert on this. Uh, I'm the last person to tell you if I'm the expert on that or not, but that's could be a potentially interesting one. Number 23 here is I'm going to get in trouble here in Florida, but RVMs, RVMs is a play you could do. Is it the best one? Probably not. But I know people that still get good ROIs outside of Florida doing it. If you're in Florida, I do not recommend RVMs. Probably not the best one to do. But RVMs is a very, very interesting choice. And it's something I'd probably be recommending in the future. Uh, outside of Florida, obviously, if the Trace Act doesn't destroy this thing. Number 24 here is postcards. I use postcards in my business. Directable is one of the best ways for me to go out here and find motivated sellers and wholesaling deals. So I... I, I I have to recommend postcards like crazy. So I use postcards in my business. Offerpostcard.com is the postcard that I use. And that's where I just send out tens of thousands of potential motivated sellers and cards. Kind of expensive, but the ROI is really good for us. And we still get consistent wholesaling deals doing it. So postcards, I 100% recommend. 25 here is handwritten letters. So handwritten letters, I could put handwritten postcards in this category too, but I think handwritten letters is probably the best one to potentially look at it. So I would say handwritten letters, it's a little more time intensive. You got the pen paper, you're, you're writing it down, but handwritten letters go out there. It's kind of expensive with uh, postage lately, but still it's a potentially great way to get wholesaling real estate deals. 26 here, another interesting marketing channel that I don't think a lot of people are talking about right now. And as Facebook Messenger, I truly believe that Facebook Messenger is one of the newest frontiers. Also, I like to be on the cutting edge of wholesaling and the cutting edge of new marketing strategies. So I truly, I, I am in the realm of possibility of thinking of doing some of this stuff where you're Facebook messaging people who potentially could want to sell the properties. And this is like pulling a code violation list finding these people on Facebook and then messaging them on Facebook versus texting. Cause if texting gets in trouble, that'd be interesting. So messaging, messaging these people on Facebook and then getting deals from there. It could be a, another potential one. Number 27 is cold emailing kind of like cold calling, except with cold emailing, you're emailing people and you're trying to see if they're interested in some of the property just from email. Benefit of this one is emails like, a tenth of a cent to send one out. Uh, so like the cost of, of emailing right now, let's see. Okay, let me try to find it right here. Uh, so if you get like 50,000 emails, it's like, um, what is it? That's a cent. So it's like 37 bucks for like 50,000 emails. Obviously you're going to be in the spam folder here and you got to, there's some laws. You got to be within the can spam laws and things, but it's potentially another interesting play to do. So could be another one in the future to do some I'm considering, but for now you just got to be careful of cold emailing, but it's a good, another one. This one's a fun one. Number 28 here is home Depot. What is Home Depot? So Home Depot, you can actually find people renovating their own properties. And if you talk to someone there and you could maybe put a bulletin board or your service on there, have a shirt or whatever in Home Depot, there's motivates those in Home Depot every single day. So Home Depot is another one to be interesting, uh, interesting one, sponsor Home Depot thing, uh, but it could be a good one. Putting a bandit sign out there by Home Depot, that could be a great one. But uh, I love Home Depot, and I, there's motivated sellers there all day trying to fix their dirty their dirty doors, mildew, whatever. Home Depot's out there. Alrighty, next one here is twenty nine is YouTube ads. So YouTube ads, another one. Uh, the Cavemen People uh, franchise for wholesaling. They have YouTube ads, so that's the one I'd 100% start recommending uh, if YouTube ads starts doing. I don't think YouTube ads have the best ROI currently right now, so I'm not currently recommending them like crazy, but it is an interesting one. It is a play out there. Number 30 here is daisy chaining your wholesaling deals. Not yours, but being part of the daisy chain where people are JVing, a JVing of a JV. 
Uh, you can join one of those daisy chains and get, get some money out of those deals. So potentially it's an interesting one. You got to go out there and see, but it could be a really good one. So I'd recommend daisy chaining uh, if it's not your deal. Next here is 31 is stickers. Uh, I know some people are getting a lot of trouble stickers and stickers is an interesting one. They're like less than 50 cents to a dollar to do. And people have stickers and they stick them on like telephone poles. They, they stick them on park benches. They stick them in home Depot stop signs and they, they stick them everywhere. And I'm not going to the ethical part. If you should stick stickers somewhere or not. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to give you my, Oh, you go out there and do it. But it, I, I do have an obligation to tell you it is a potential marketing strategy. Uh, stickers are a pain in the butt if you put it on a private business. I'm not getting this ethical play with you, but it is a interesting one to do. You can get them online and you could stick them anywhere. Uh, you could potentially get deals from there, but I don't do it. I'm not recommending it, but it is a play out there. I do have to tell the people who are desperate to get a deal. 32, here's Bandit Signs. Now, Bandit Signs is an amazing one. I would say it's Bandit Signs. Uh, it, it definitely jumpstarted my wholesaling business and jumpstarted a ton of my success. And technically they're illegal, but they do really well. I did bandit signs. I don't do bandit signs anymore, but I would still recommend if bandit signs work in your market, go out there and do them. 33 here is wrap your car. You can wrap your car in a we buy houses cash thing. It's a fun one. It's an interesting play, but do I recommend it? I probably not for your personal car, but it is another one to find motivated sellers. 34 is wrap other people's cars or wrapping like a truck, a huge truck or like a cargo truck or a UPS type thing truck and putting it in front of a busy street and parking it in front of like a shopping center. And then you got a lot of traffic like that, like a billboard and it's a potentially good one. Uh, so that's one I could recommend. 35 here is business cards. I, business cards, put them in front of Panera Bread or something, stick them in places. That's a good one to do. And last one here is sponsor ads on like local magazines. Now, before you're like, oh, wait, wait. there's like co like weird local coffee shop magazines and you, they're pretty cheap and you put We Buy Houses cash on the front of them, you could potentially do pretty good on that. So that's one I'd 100% recommend too. So that's 36 ways, guys, on a, how to find easy real estate wholesaling uh, deals. It's an interesting one. Is it the best one? I don't know. Uh, but I think cold calling, drawing for dollars, still my favorite ones out of those, but they're still really good. So let's get some questions going. Let's see why, how I can help the people out in real estate wholesaling today. Josh says here, three hours of cold calling today and two referrals came in. We on a mission. Let's go. Awesome, Josh. Thank you so much. Thomas says, what's up, everyone? Tom from Michigan in the loop here. What is up, Thomas? How are you doing today? Uh, Joe said, had him on the hook. Wife said, no. Uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, Zach's been live every single day this week. Let's go. Let's go. Of course I am. I uh, had to push the pace in the lives a little today. Uh, just trying to push the pace, guys. That's why I'm trying to put as much content as, out, as I can out there and to help you guys out. This channel is awesome. Samuel, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Guys, your support means everything to me on this channel. So thank you. Sullivan says, hey, what is up, Sullivan? Uh, let's see here. Justin says, finding leads is killing me right now. Go out there and do it. Government list, I still recommend it. It'd probably be one of the best ones out there. And look at the live I did yesterday. I showed you exactly how to do it. We got uh, Gide Lamptey. What's up from Chicago? Definitely said her name wrong. I'm sorry, but Chicago, great market. Uh, if you're doing it right, we've got Raleigh, Rochester, Devin Hager in the Treasure Coast. What's up, bro? Getting on the dialer soon. Let's go. Um, also, guys, free wholesaling course is freewholesaling.com. That is on the bottom. Hello. What is up, guys? How are you? Uh, Denver, RK out here killing it. Hey, Zach, at it again. Of course I'm at it again. Why would I not be at it again? I'm always at it. Facebook says on the dollar now, 305 and a minimum of 194 to go for the day. Let's keep it going. Samuel asks a very, very good question here is, does drawing for dollars virtually work? And in my opinion, I, I, tr I do think it works. I don't think it works as good as regular drawing for dollars, but drawing for dollars virtually, I'd still recommend it. And I still do think it's an interesting marketing channel. So still going to go after it, still recommend it. I 
still probably think you should be doing it. So yes, I would re recommend it right now. Josh Weiser in the house. I drive for dollars, found two properties that can't be found on PropStream in County GIS. It doesn't show up. What do I do with that? Hmm. I'll look at the records. Yeah. Um, I'll look at the public records and look up the deeds on those properties and find the legal description and then try it from there. Uh, let's see here. We're asked here, how do you avoid wholesalers, fake buyers from stealing your deals? So you, the best way to avoid fake buyers or wholesalers acting like a cash buyer to daisy chain you is by having a proof of funds. If someone doesn't have the money in their bank account, they're probably going to be a fake whole, uh, fake cash buyer, fake buyer, or wholesaler. So get a snapshot of their bank account. Get a proof of funds letter. It's very easy to do. You should get them. Don't get one from a hard money lender or a regular lender. Get a legitimate one from like Chase Bank, B, uh, bb and Bank, uh, PNC, whatever, Suncoast, whatever one you you use, TD, TD Bank. Uh, get those. That's definitely something I would be currently recommending right now. And from stealing your deals is mem memorandums, having at least a hundred dollar earnest money deposit. Telling you guys, it is a game changer for your business. Start doing that. It's amazing. Just as SMS always seems spammy to me, you're not wrong. Uh, it's a tad spammy, but still there's great wholesaling deals from it. So I cannot say no to that. Um, Osh Oshima, Oshama, I... So I just, I butcher names. So I, I'm sorry. I will always butcher names. That's just who I am. That's the name of the game here. I'm terrible at saying names. So I'm sorry. But uh, this person says, just got done with appointment with a seller. He's a tough one. Doesn't want to negotiate price. And I'm having a hard time comping the property. Huh. Let me know what the cash flow could be on there. Potentially that could help me find the comps for it. Josh says, how long do you market to your drying for dollars list? Probably for about three months. And then from there, we'll reassess the information if it got sold or not. Let's get it. D Miles says, let's go. Woo. Got some people tagging people in this group. That's awesome. Olivia Summers signing my first contract on Saturday. Let's get it. Olivia has been commenting like crazy the past couple weeks, always engaged with the information, always asking questions, and she is getting her first contract signed Saturday. Come on, guys. I'm telling you, let's go. Come on. How can you not be pumped up about this? I'm giving information that's helping these people out. I cannot tell you. These gurus cannot stop me. I'm helping everyone get their first 100K right now, and that is what I'm doing on this channel. No one's going to stop me. Okay, I'm, I'm, let's go. Woo! Calling for sale by owners and drawing for dollars really does help with leads. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much. Can't wait to get, uh, see you get your first deal. Let's get it. You got all the information to get cash buyers. Facebook, go out there. Listra.com, call cash sales. This is amazing, guys. We are truly changing lives. This is history in the making. People are changing their financial futures forever on this channel. All for free. Let's go. You're welcome, Olivia. Your support means everything for us on this channel here. Freddie H says, what areas are you avoiding when door knocking? I'm really going to get in trouble with this, aren't you guys? You guys are killing me on this one. So, what areas to avoid? Very, very high class areas. We don't want to be dealing with 600K and up areas. Now, if 600K is the bottom of your market, sure, but be in the medium range. So find your median average price and just be below that. Um, up to you what, what areas you really want to drive. I know some people say, hey, I'm not going to go in low, in very uh, high crime areas. I don't want to go drive for dollars there. Do whatever you want. Uh, but most people just avoid the very, very, very rich areas that are probably not the best for door knocking. Milton says JV is king, closing over 30 plus JVing. Let's go. Come on. JVing's awesome. Trolling X Sin. Please don't be trolling me. Um, can I ask questions? Of course. All righty. Let's get going. 
All right, let's see what questions we got. Juan Arrow, always in the house asking great questions. Thank you so much, Juan Arrow. Juan Arrow asks, my friend told me that his neighbor died and the children are still on the property, but the property is not in their name. What can I do, Zach? The property that is probably in the father's name, the neighbor's name, and it's probably go through a probate. So you could still get, depending on your state, I got to look at your laws. I know you're in Minnesota here, uh, but if all you really got to do is it should probably go through probate, fine. Maybe it has to go through probate for itself. In Florida, I can get on a contract with the heirs and actually get that deal done. Uh, but I don't know specifically Minnesota's laws, so I got to look at it a little further. But uh, I think it's a pretty good one. Sure to say I buy houses. Let's let's go. Joshua uh, Brooks says, how much does it typically cost for Facebook ads? I appreciate all your content. Joshua, I don't recommend Facebook ads. I'm just going to be completely honest. I'm getting trouble saying that, but hey, hey, I said it. Uh, so with a typical cost, you're, if you want to get results, I would say you got at least, probably spend at least three grand. That's probably where you got to, realistically, that's probably where you got to be at to get much results for wholesaling. So uh, I would say about, mm, yeah, about three grand a month. And it, not for the fan of heart guys. So that's kind of where I'm at. What about Craigslist for marketing? I don't think Craigslist is the best one for motivated sellers. For cash buyers, it's a little better. For motivated sellers, probably not. But hey, if it works for you, it works for you, right? Some real bleep on there too. Facebook have egos. Facebook, oh my gosh. Facebook groups have crazy egos. It's crazy. Like you got an ego on my Facebook group. Bloop, you're out. Oh, you're out. It's like uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, there's an episode there with the guy from uh, SNL. He used to be on SNL. He's like, he was like from the Venezuela guy. He was like, um, your guru, you're banned. You try to sell something, you're banned. Try to sell a course in my group, you're banned. Straight to jail. Um, I, 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 I like memes, so sue me. But um, that's kind of how I am. Uh, I'm like, hey, you... Uh, you sell something in my group, straight to jail. Um, you try to try to sell someone or DM someone to buy their buy their crazy stupid course or mastermind in my group, banned, banned, banned. Like I literally have I have three three rules in my Facebook group, and this is why it's the fastest growing Facebook group for wholesaling real estate. It's the largest wholesaling mastermind in the country. Number one, no gurus are allowed. No gurus. You guru, you out. Number two, there's no selling allowed in the group. You can't be selling something. Number three is just value. You just have to give value. Don't be asking. Don't be taking. Just give. And that's the rules of the group. And it's worked very well. And it's one of the fastest growing uh, Facebook groups in the country. What's in the cup? Can you guys see it from here? Where is it? It's water. Yeah, drinking water. Right? Yeah. I'm chugging water always, always chugging water. Watch enough lives, you know, I'm always chugging water. It helps me. I don't know why. I think I'm the only YouTube guy that goes live for like a while. And like these people will like just talk for three hours without any water. I'm like, I can't do that. I, I got to be chugging water, clear my throat. I, I just, I just can't do it. I don't know why. Maybe I'm not meant for lives for five hours without water, but. These people are like camels. I don't understand it. I have to drink water constantly. Uh, I work out in the mornings, so I'm kind of I get all sweaty and I take a shower and then I I, I do my work uh, before my regular work. But like I'm kind of I, I need I need to drink my water. What's RVM? Great question, actually. So RVM is ringless voicemails. So ringless voicemails uh, is still one of the best uh, marketing channels out there outside of Florida, but this is about dropping voicemails in someone's uh, phone mailbox without spending uh, much money. It's really cheap to do. It's kind of an auto dialer. It's, it's, I, I personally, from what I've seen, I don't think it's TCPA compliant uh, and it's probably going to get banned in, in the future. So uh, Florida, it's already basically banned out there. So I would not recommend doing it right now, but there's people that's still doing it, doing well. So I, I can't knock them for doing it. So, I, I still think it's an interesting marketing channel. AKA Microflip. Perfect. Hey, what's the best site for bandit signs? I found the best deals from your local print shop, actually, not from uh, websites because the shipping's so bad. 
Jerry says, Aloha from Maui, Zach. Aloha, Jerry. I gotta get out to uh I gotta get to, get out to Hawaii. That's pretty cool. I'm I'm already kind of in paradise right now where I'm at, but um Hawaii seems really cool. Ringless voicemail, sweet. My uncle flew an airplane banner over Miami Beach saying we buy ugly houses. Miami Beach ain't the place to be doing that. Uh, I would probably go a little more the wet, like West Miami, but that's interesting. There's a lot of people on Miami Beach though, so huh? That's a cool one. I hope hopefully his phone number's on there. Uh, S e o l e says, "Hey Zach, how do I comp in non-disclosure states like Texas?" Great question here. The best way to do that is by just looking on the MLS what things are on the market for. That's still the best and going after cash flow comps, how much the thing will rent for, and then divide that by 1%. So it's again, a thousand a month divided by 1% probably worth a hundred K roughly. Sweet. Thanks Zach again for the info. Of course. Should you feel bad for missing two days of cold calling? Yes. On the next one. Just kidding. Just kidding, Danny. Uh, no, maybe there's a medical emergency. Uh, but I make sh I take extreme ownership of everything I do. So if, if I, the only person you're disappointing is is not me. You're disappointing yourself. Uh, I would not miss two days of cold. Personally, me, I never did. It, it's it, it's like me going out and working. I'm not the most fit person out here. I'm not like this jack guy. But I I like working out. I, I think it helps me in my business. It helps me mentally. Uh, so I don't miss a day of working out. If I'm sick, I'm still going to go work out. It, it's more of a discipline thing than ever. Uh, I'm not going to miss my cold calling if I had a cold calling schedule. I'm not going to go miss a meeting. I'm not going to go miss something. You think I'm going to miss 4th of July, 4th of July to uh, shoot off fireworks? Uh, I ain't missing nothing. Okay. You think I'm missing the Dolphins games on Sundays? If I was a medical emergency or something or, you know, a personal matter. But I'm disciplined. I'm going out there watching my Dolphins. Uh, but uh, all jokes aside, guys, I, I do, I've done a video a day here on this YouTube channel. I, I, I'm not missing a day. Even if I can't do a live, there will be, I have so, guys, you don't understand. I have so many edited, recorded videos just in case I can't make lives. Like, let's say I decide just to take four months off because I'm, I'm, I'm cuckoo for four months. I got four months at probably closer to seven or eight seven or eight months just in the back burner of just edited videos that like there's still gonna be a video day of wholesaling content for you guys that's not going to change in the next eight months so um that's just how prepared i am and this is how much i care about the youtube channel uh so should it should you feel bad it's only it's only the only person you're disappointing is yourself so if you don't have the money you want right now you're not in the financial situation you're not you're at you're not your business is not where you're at the only person you're disappointing is yourself uh, that's the honest truth. How do you network and where do you go? Facebook, 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 Facebook groups all day. So creative. Thank you, Paul. I, I truly appreciate it. Uh, Ramil, Ramil, I'm saying your name wrong. I'm, I'm really sorry. But um, Ramil asks here, do you think it's too saturated now? Wholesaling real estate? No. No, makes it easier to sell deals. That's the way I look at it. It's like saying, it's like going from college uh, football to the NFL. It's like, do you think there's too many people trying to trying to be the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers? Yeah, it's always been like that. Sometimes the Panthers stink, sometimes they're not. But of course, everyone wants to be an NFL quarterback. So what are you going to do? Are you going to be like, everyone wants to be a quarterback? Ugh. Or like basketball, like everyone wants to be an NBA player. Well, what are you going to do? Are, are you going to be, should I do it? Should I, should I do this? I'm going to be in trouble if I say this. Do you want to be <laughs> the Ben Simmons of basketball and just be like there and sometimes not be the best player? Ben Simmons way better than most people, but are you going to be the Ben Simmons of basketball? Or are you going to go out here and be the stinking Kobe Bryant of basketball? Because everyone wants to be a basketball player. And maybe everyone is a basketball player, but no one's a Kobe. No one's a LeBron James. Fewer like Dwayne Wade. But uh, it's really what you want to be. Like I, I realized in, in wholesaling, everyone wants to be a wholesaler. Everyone wants to be in the NBA. I decided I want to try my best to be the Kobe. 
of wholesaling or the LeBron of wholesaling or the Michael Jordan of wholesaling. I, I just want to be at the level where this is where a successful wholesaler is. This is where average NBA player is. And I just want to like destroy it. Um, so yeah, I, I know it's saturated. I, I know it's saturated my market, but guess what I did? I, I didn't mope about it. I, I got harder and became the Kobe of my market. I became the Michael Jordan of my market outworked everyone. And like Michael Jordan playing against anyone back in the day or Kobe playing anyone back in the day or LeBron playing with anyone now. LeBron's a little older. Um, like I would say Michael Jordan probably. Uh, Michael Jordan or Kobe. Um, when Jordan retired, kind of Kobe had his little thing too. Um, where like you're, they, you just want to be at, at that point where, especially in your market, like I'm in at my market, I'm at such a level right now where like I'm not even... I, I, I'm not, I'm in the twilight zone. I'm not even in the same realm as these other wholesalers. Like I'm, I'm at a, I'm at a different, I'm in a different dimension than them. That's where you want to be in basketball. That's where you want to be in football. That's where you want to be in like anything. Like I I'm telling you, I like Patrick Mahomes. Like you can, like no one's near this guy at uh, throwing uh, accuracy or, or arm strength. You can say Josh Allen, but uh, you just want to be in a different dimension than other people uh, when it comes to this business. And when it comes to saturation, do you want to be like Kobe or do you just want to be like an average basketball player? It's up to you. I chose to work my butt off. I got a lead of a tired landlord with tenants that also no disrespect to Ben Simmons, but I just, I thought it was a funny one. Uh, I thought it was an interesting one to say. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ben Simmons is gonna be. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get in trouble. I got a lead of a tired landlord that won't pay. Uh, uh, tired landlords with tenants that won't pay. He wants it out, but the ARV is 40k. Really small home, and the spread is non-existent. We want ARV value. Is it worth it with repairs? Um. Airv is 40k and it wants 40k if it needs repairs then no i'm here just got off of work sweet 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 thank you so much uh just joining awesome also guys quick announcement tomorrow i'm going live with rick and we're going to do an epic marathon type live again uh where it's going to be me and him and we're going to have everyone in my wholesaling mastermind if you guys want in on the mastermind for that link, all you got to do, go to facebook.com slash groups slash wholesaling houses for real. I'll let you in tonight. And if you're not a guru, obviously, and there'll be a link on there tomorrow morning where you can go in here, join me on a video chat with me and Rick and ask any personal question you want one-on-one -on -one video chat wise. And we're going to, we'll help you for free. Uh, so facebook.com slash groups slash wholesaling houses for real. Go to wholesaling houses for real on Facebook. And you can actually get a video chat with me and Rick uh, for free. About five grand right there. You'd have to spend for a average guru to have whatever uh, to get in front of them. So that's what I'm saying. I'm probably doing more of that. If you guys see on the bottom, um, let me try to write this down too. I'm trying to get all through all the um, DMs and stuff, but it's like I, I, I'll do 400 and then I get like, 400 the next day and it gets crazy. So wholesaling houses, Facebook group. I, I am getting behind on my DMS because I'm getting three to 400 a day now. And it takes me a while. Cause I personally uh, look and actually care about each one. So I'm only getting to like 200 a day, which is not going well. So uh, go to wholesaling houses, uh, Facebook group. Where's my finger right there. Wholesaling houses, Facebook group. Uh, there'll be a link. Just do a one-on-one -on -one video chat. And I can get things done a lot quicker doing that. So wholesaling houses. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Wholesaling houses for real. Wholesaling houses for real Facebook group. Go join that. All right. Just joining. That is awesome. Have a uh, Cena 45 says here. Let's see here. Where are we at? Where's the question? All right. Uh, Cena 45 says, have a property on a contract, but the tenant is missing in action. What step is next? 
Um, I'm going by every day and talk to the neighbors. They haven't seen her in weeks. Um, depending on the laws in your, in your city, actually in your state, um, if they have an eviction notice and they just, they keep going MIA, you should be good. That's probably what I'd, I'd start doing. Let's get it. Also see if there's cars or anything there. You can put a trail cam if you want, if you get permission from the neighbors, uh, and see if anyone's coming in or out of the property or get permission from the owner or something. If it's legal, I think, uh, but you do, I see people do trail cams to see if the tenants actually there or not. Um, if they own like a property across the street or something, it's just interesting ones to do, but I'll only do things that are legal. Uh, also disclosure guys, I'm not a lawyer, CPA, financial advisor, any of those Joe Schmo stuff. I'm not a realtor, not even close. So boom, uh, let's get it. Awesome. Congrats. Way to go, Olivia. Let's go. I got one deal. I quit the, I get one deal. I quit the car biz. Let's go. Mad, thank you. Saved uh, you saved lots of people money. Thank you so much. I, I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. It, it means a lot to me. Paul Matthews has an interesting one here. Amazon drivers are finding my uh, founding me houses. That okay? That's a good one. I like that one. These are all great ways. Thanks, Zach. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, MJJ Smooth Criminal. Always on here. Appreciate you, Zach. Look up the owner. What's the right way to wholesale in Chicago, Illinois? Do one by yourself. And then from there, get a license, I would say, if you're doing um, Illinois. T-Machine says, hi, Zach. I'm at uh, Sarasota. Do you suggest I try to get my first deal here? Or do you recommend me focus on trying to get my first deal? I have a thousand to spend on marketing. I would do Sarasota still. Bonk. The scene from Parks and Rec. People know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not the only one like this, okay? I swear. I swear, okay? I'm not... What's the guy's name? Um, let me get his name for you guys. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'll get copyrighted, but what is it? This guy. He's just like, do the, you go to jail? Um, what's the actor's name? It's called Sister City uh, Parks and Rec. If you search it up, it should be free. Who's the guys? Um, Fred Armisen. Fred, Fred Armisen. Yes. Hilarious. You sipping like it's Henny. I have a ton of ice in here. I don't drink at all. So it's just water. It's really cold. So I got to like drink it slower, I guess. I don't know. Appreciate that's funny. Thanks for the honest response, of course. If you have one solid comp in the same neighborhood, can you is that enough info to determine ARV? It's not a science, guys. Like you gotta kind of shoot from the hip sometimes. Uh, the market's so crazy right now, you can put some of a premium, but I would say if it's one solid comp, yes. Engine Man 21 just joined my Facebook group. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Josh says, do you have a video on comping? Also, do you have one to comp rural properties? Go to freewholesaling.com. It's all in there, baby. Boom, 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 boom. How to determine cash flow. Uh, rental meter is a really good one. That's a cool tool, rentometer.com. I'm finally getting pro. Uh, Wu Tang says, I'm finally getting prof stream and going after absentee with high equity. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. S-C-O-L-E says, also another lead came in for 0.17 acre of land in a mobile home park. No comps and no info on worth. The dude house has a tax lien on What do I do? No comps and no info on the value. I would get it for the lowest price possible. Try to wholesale to a buyer. That's that's the name of the game. Uh, yes. Zach, do you know how to find hedge fund buyers? You call, uh, you actually look up cash sales and some of the hedge funds are going to be on there. That's how I do it on PropStream. Cold calling now on a hand dialer. Awesome. Send them over. I listen all day long. Bleep. I, I'm going to say bleep, okay? We're going to keep it PG on this channel because I know all the 12 and 13 year olds, uh, you know, you, you're everyone watching their sons and daughters. You're, you're, you're watching this in the car. And of course, you're going to have four or five year olds in the car. And I want you guys to be listening to this in the car and all the podcast and 
you know, listing this in your homes. I, I want the four or five year olds to listen to this too. They, they need to be having wholesale information in their heads already. Get them started early. So I'm going to keep it PG on this one. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to create an empire of seven year old cold callers and uh, they're going to be making 400 K a year and uh, they're going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, All righty. So let's see. Jerry says, I just found a buyer for my second property. Let's go thousand dollar deal about two and a half, uh, two and a half have worked all together, small beans, but they pay for marketing and sushi thousand dollar deal. Awesome. Sweet. By the way, Home Depot is such a great idea. idea. Thank you, Alyssa. Batch leads and batch dollar are different, right? One's for texting, one the other one's for calling. Yes. Uh, what is it for? It's zackdialer.com. That's how you get on that dialer. It's all about that Mamba mentality. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, what do you do if a seller wants to sell but has tenants? Ooh, that's an interesting one. Uh, the seller wants to sell, but the seller has tenants. You can either kick the tenants out or think about this for a second, or you could potentially keep them in there and have the cash buyer stay in there. Uh, that's another interesting potential play on there. So I would say you should still keep them if there's tenants in there um, for now and then have the cash buyer decide. Uh, but buying them with the tenants in it, usually I want them out. Jonathan says, if you say to cold call through two to seven, why not do a live during non cold calling hours? If you say, why not do a live during non cold calling hours? You got me there. Um, I don't know. I think seven is a little too late for a live. Um, also on YouTube, I can see when my subscribers are most active on YouTube. And my subscribers are most active from uh, 4 to 7 p.m. And if I do 5 to 7, that's pretty good. Uh, and if I did 7 to 9, that's I mean, 9 o'clock. That gets kind of late for a live. And I won't be the most energy possible for my live. So um, this is the time that works best for me. Um, five, uh, 5 through 7 is usually the best time for me. I'm usually working like 8 to 5 um, in my regular wholesaling operations. And I'm just letting you know, Jonathan, I, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a YouTube, like I'm a YouTuber, but like it, I, this is, this is like this much of my time or my energy for, for a lot of stuff. Like I, most of my time is running an actual wholesaling business. That's where I make all of my money. I don't, I'm not here to sell you on coaching or, or to, to I, I, I try to give two hours at least a day, maybe an hour and then another hour for like working on editing videos or on my Facebook group or something. Like I'm not. I'm not spending every waking moment um, on on this channel or something. Like I, of course, I want to, but I'm not a professional guru or coach, uh, so that's my thing. Now I, I'm not working eight to five on like wholesaling exclusively. I got other businesses I run, but uh, truly, if I want to make the most lot uh, change lives, I think five to seven is the best for me. Um, that's just where I'm at. Uh, what's up? What's up? Steve here in Boston. How are y'all? I'm doing great. I'm doing good. Joshua says, Hey Zach, how far would you comp away from the property you're looking at the most a mile or five away? Thanks in advance. Um, here's, I'm going to drop some game on you, Joshua. Stay in the same subdivision, uh, same in the same subdivision. So subdivision is probably a quarter mile away, 0.3 maybe. Uh, if you look at the property appraiser on prop stream, the subdivision will pop up there. Jason says, thanks, Zach. Love it. Always look forward to this power hour, power hour every single day. I appreciate you. Thank you. Your teaching says how to wholesale in low uh, income area. So the wholesale in a low income area, you do the same thing. They're just lower, uh, pro probably lower property values. Uh, so it's a little different, but not, not really the biggest deal in the world. How much should I prioritize networking? At least 30 minutes a day. T Machine says, I, do, I just work 9 to 12 hours a day. Can you give me a good marketing strategy that could help me get a deal that would fit my crazy schedule? I have 1K in marketing and live in Sarasota. Um, nine hours, so I'm assuming 9 to 5. Uh, for 1,000, I would say I'd probably do SMS, honestly, from 5 to 7. 
since pro uh, SEOL says SEOLE says since PropStream has access to MLS, uh, can I comp there for non-disclosure states? Yeah, for properties on the market, sure. Eddie says, "What's up, buddy? How are you, man? How are you?" Karina says, "Yes, please do more of these calls. I won't be able to make it tomorrow, but both of your help is always appreciated. Thank you, Karina. I appreciate it." Wu Tang, how I honestly, I, I hate. I uh, it's probably best to not be copywriting stuff on YouTube, but I'd be having so much awesome music in the back of these things, or like for the intros, I'd be awesome music. We playing like sicko mode. We be playing Wu Tang. Um, play Cream from Wu Tang. We'll do. There, there's so many great songs. A lot of Killer B, um, Tupac, Biggie, Snoop Dogg. We be playing all the all the cool jams on, on on these things. But with the way copyright works, can't do it, or they won't show my videos on anywhere for wholesaling. So can't do the cool music. Kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm also Eddie. Thank you. Okay, Eddie. Got it. Uh, LOL. Hi, Zach. Terry from Los Angeles. Hello. How's it going? Love the trail cam idea. If it's legal, okay, you can make sure it's legal. Uh, yo, thanks for the input. Thank you very much uh, for much going to try that. Awesome. That's great to hear. Uh, Jacob says, there's a way to... There's still a way to buy the home and keep the tenants in place if that's what you're selling. Yes. Also, go back to one to three more months if you can't find anything. Yep. Awesome. You guys are giving great advice in the comments. Anyone from Las Vegas want to connect? Connect. Sending out my first SMS credit uh, SMS credit card debt list. What are your thoughts? Do it. Awesome one. Cold calling credit card debt lists are kind of hard though, but that's good. If you're going for absentee high equity, be sure to add in another filter like lean or tax. Awesome. Great info. How's the Philly uh, market, bro? It's decent. I'm not really in there too much, but it's still a pretty good one. Can you get a tr uh, deal under contract before it goes through probate? Depending on your state. In Florida, yes. Otherwise, maybe not. Took your advice to try mailing to pre-probate leads from PropStream, and I've received only two calls telling me they don't want to sell. How many do you mail? Let me know. And where did you mail to? Uh, the, I've all, I only told you to cold call pre probates, never to mail, mail probates. Uh, I have a close partner who lives and works out of Vegas could help with business use. How to stop you at sick. sick mode is a great song. I do not care what you have to say. Maybe I'm younger, but sick mode is a great song. Drake and Travis Sm Scott. You have Sway Lee in there too. There's like four songs in one in there. Sicko Mode's a great song. I will fight. That is that is a hill I'm willing to die on right now. Sicko Mode. I'm not calling it a classic. For my generation, it's a classic. Is it a top 10 songs of all time? No. But it's a great song. I hate fighting with my audience. You guys are great, but come on. Sicko Mode. Uh, what other businesses do you run? Uh, so we have, lot, we have rental properties. Um, I got some online businesses uh, that are going, uh, they're kind of interesting. They're outside of real estate, uh, but I don't want to talk about them right now. Not trying to uh, get anyone going in them. Uh, there's some just interesting ones, but it doesn't take too much of my time. Uh, do some investments. So stocks. We're not going to talk about crypto or anything, but like I I've been in cryptocurrency since 20, late 2016. Um I don't put all my money in it, but very, very small portion. Most of my money is in real estate and stocks. Uh, some other interesting business. I, I don't want to get into it right now. This is a wholesaling channel, but uh, I got some other interesting ones in, in the in the works and the play. But um, I would say 90% of my income is from wholesaling real estate. And honestly, if I stopped wholesaling, uh, I, I would never, but... My wholesaling is growing so much lately that like it's still 90%. Uh, so probably when I'm like 40, it'll probably push to like, it's going to be hard. It's going to be kind of sad to say, but probably 20% of my income is going to come from wholesaling because the investments are just making so much like passive income that's like even making seven figures a year is going to be 20%. Um, 
through active wholesaling, which is kind of sad to think about when I'm 40. Uh, but uh, right now it's about 90, 10, just because of how crazy the business is right now. Uh, creative financing, sub two business, uh, create other type of creative seller financing lease options. It's not wholesaling per se, but it's still pretty good. Uh, work with real estate brokerages that uh, Rick owns. We do a ton of interesting stuff. Could put a tree stand if the cam is not legal. Do what's legal. <laughs> uh, how do you network with bail bonds, attorneys, and other attorneys in a casual way that doesn't seem like I'm tracking them down? Networking events. Sorry to ask, I believe you covered it, but where do you get credit card debt list? Listrei.com. So let me try to find it here. Listrei.com. L-I-S-T-R-E-I.com. Juanero says, only three days to start ringing and calling all the distressed properties in Minnesota. Thanks, Zach, for all the excellent information. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. 500 in my hometown of Tyler, Texas. Great market. T-Machine says, hey, Zach, thanks, brother. I'll hit up some texting on the vacant 70 uh, plus. Sorry, Eddie. Uh, hey, Zach, thanks, brother. I'll just hit up uh, some texting on a vacant 70% plus list. I built, uh, do 60% equity. Uh I built 10 years plus ownership. I already skipped trace then through proof. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I wouldn't fight that too much. That's pretty good. Uh, sometimes tell your workout playlists are... Something tells me your, our workout playlists are interchangeable. You you're mentioned nothing but bangers. <laughs> um, I change it up a lot. I actually like rap caviar from uh, Spotify. It always changes up to new stuff. It's good. Um, it's not... I like to listen like hard hip hop and like rap when I'm working out. And then like when I'm chilling, it's just like regular rock and stuff. Like I, I, I like it all truly. Um, but uh, when it comes to working out, it's gonna be like, it's gotta be hard, hard songs that go hard in the paint. A lot of, a lot of nineties uh, too. A lot of hard nineties. What is it? What's one that always gets me crazy. I'm trying to remember that one. Um, is it, what is it? Wait. I think it's Shook One's part two. Where is it? Shook One's part two. Hands down the hardest workout song I've ever had in my entire life. If I try a max bench or something, Shook One's part two, not even close. Advice for cold calling a saturated market. Tampa is ridiculous. Uh, government lists, water, uh, water shutoffs and fire damage properties. I'm in Vegas market, live here too. Awesome. Hi, Jerry. I'd like to team up with your partner, offer my help and need to having someone to talk with to help stay me motivated. That's awesome. Thanks, credit card debt list info, of course. Can you do a video on how to use your contract via DocuSign and other apps? Uh, go work on it, of course. Joshua says, how do you know if a title company is wholesaler friendly? Do you just call them and ask them if your wholesalers do, do business there? Sorry if the question seems too basic. Joshua, go to freewholesaling.com. Uh, let me try to put it up for you. Where is it? Freewholesaling.com. Telling you right now, the best one out there. Go to freewholesaling.com. Teach you exactly everything you know um, about it. I, I can't go for an hour on title companies, but we do on that uh, in one of the modules there. So freewholesaling.com. Let's see here. SCOL says you're the best, bro. I'm at 10,000 cold calls. This wow, that's really good. But not getting not getting non motivated leads despite the list dialed in. I'm exhausted. Prop shooting list in North Carolina. I do drive for dollars, bro. Okay, 60 good. Let's connect. Many of my partners looking for rentals. Awesome. Keep connecting, guys. And yeah, man, it's Eddie. Thanks for your help, of course. Jerry says I'm only 19, but my mind is older. Zach spoke no lies on this one. Yeah, shook one's part two. Jerry knows what's up. I love that line. That was great. I've been listening to that song forever. But um, I actually, I, I learned that song from watching Eight Mile from Eminem when I was like six. Why did I watch that movie? I don't know. Probably shouldn't be watching that movie at like six. But ah, oh my gosh, guys. So check it out, freewholesaling.com. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are the best. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have a blessed one. And thank you so much. Go out there and start getting some deals.